<laughs> okay, well, I'm pretty sure you got to get back to your uh, your new leaf, Animal Crossing New Leaf, anymore. Uh, I hope so. <laughs> I, I I remember playing Animal Crossing. The, that's my favorite thing about Animal Crossing for DS. Was it kind of had like a roommate thing? So my neighbor and I shared oh, that Animal right. Crossing. Yeah. So every like he would play. You could, for like one visit day. each other's like cities or yeah. whatever. Yeah. But the best part about it is like it had a roommate situation. Like you could have four players, and then it was like you guys were all living together in the same apartment. So we literally had that going around. He was like, "Yo, Vance, did you drop any clothes at your room that last night?" I was like, "Yeah, I did." I was like, "Well, I picked it up and I sold it." I was like, "Well, thanks." <laughs> he <laughs> I, stole I, your stuff. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I, I was planning. I was planning to pick up that shirt when I had another, you know, drawer. But if you want to sell my shirt for bells? Why not? Okay. Well, coming up next, we have Caius from Vegas. You know, another Vegas member, one of our brethrens to the east. Yeah. Yeah, east. <laughs> if you're a fan of. Uh, Technicals. He has been seen in many of his videos. Also, good friends of mine and players like Arrow and Nico. So we've all hung up with Kaius before. Kaius was originally known as a Shokunin, but he did tell me this morning because uh, we had the same housing he, that he doesn't mean Shokunin anymore. He doesn't feel that Shokunin is as fun. <laughs> it's kind of weird for you to tell me. Like, really? Hey. This is the game he decided to <laughs> not play Shokunin. I tell people the same thing. Like <laughs> what? Shulk is like a loyalty rewards program, and the one time you want to cash it in, you're not going to cash it in. I, I mean, sure. All right. Well. You know, it, it's he's a grown man, and he can do whatever he wants. <laughs> he can take his own L's. I mean, I hope he doesn't take an L here. He's the homie, but. Okay, well, and then, of course, we have uh, his opponent, Justin. Now, how familiar are you with this matchup? As a Smash, as a former Smash 4 Roy main, you kind of have to respect that landing on Fox is the biggest mistake you can make, just oh. like that. He landed with an aerial, and not only that, your startup on your forward air isn't that great. Mm -hmm. So if Fox does get an up tilt or a read on you, you have to be really careful. Not only that. The air-to-air -air combat that you have versus Fox is good, but when, if, like I said, if you land poorly on Fox or he reads your nair or your approach, you will be taking in damage. And okay. this is what seems to be Kai's biggest mistake here. Like yeah, just looking straight out of Smash 4, mm -hmm. the bunch of up airs, and oh, I don't know about that charge force match. Juicen is able to, you know, retake stage control. Mm -hmm. That's also one thing you do have over Fox, though, in this matchup, is when he goes for side B, this is almost a free kill. Because you're literally just going to have to go ahead and whip punish it, and then you will get the punish and you can't kill and take stocks really early, really early. Yeah, and now we're starting to see, you know, Justin use a little bit more tilts, which I like to see against, like, faster characters. Mm -hmm. You definitely don't want to be approaching in the or committing to the air so much, because you, you are kind of vulnerable up there. Exactly. And especially when you have going up against a character that has a lot of great anti-airs and juggle tools like Fox. Oof. Right. And that's kind of what I'm seeing Kaius make the stake. He lost that stock because we went for an aerial. Mm -hmm. So Juicen kind of knew what he had to do. I do want to see Kaius play the more grounded game, but also respect that double edge dance. It's really, really good here only when you're going for a tech chase. And your best opportunity to actually focus Fox to get out of shield sometimes could be being down tilt. Oh, yeah, down tilt for sure. Mm -hmm. but okay, here come the list traps. And what is it going to be? Oh, goes with a big S smash, but Illusion going to go right through him. Yeah. All right, cross up back air. And that's why you want to focus on that side B being a, being more of a whip punish. You want to space yourself properly and get used to that timing. Mm -hmm. Oh, he oh. almost broke the shield. <laughs> side B would have been a good option if you would have gone for the the, the down angled one where it's the multi hit. That yeah, it does break the shield. Mm -hmm. Unless Juice would have actually uh, angled the shield a little bit more back to avoid that. Okay, big nice. counter from the side of the stage, but still not enough to actually take Juice in stock. I want to see, uh, or no, I want to see. Oh. Uh, yeah, I want to see your Roy player like go off stage and actually challenge the vertical recoveries from Fox mm -hmm. a little bit more. Because uh, I mean, when he's going straight up, yes, Firefox does has an like a bigger hitbox um, compared to what we're used to, but at the same time, you know, he's still very vulnerable. And exactly. Roy's back air is just so strong that it's gonna put him in a tech situation. If, if anything. Or he'll just like straight up bounce off the wall because he's just got hit so hard that he's not even gonna have the opportunity to tech. Right. Oh, that's gonna be a forward tilt. The one thing I do want to see, I was gonna say, like you can challenge side B with your forward air, and looking like Kai's do it, do it, kinda, do it. Nope. Okay. I was gonna say, looking like Kai's about to rob this man and rob the bank because he was looking to lose this matchup. But unfortunately, like I said, going for those aerials when you're when Fox is around the stage, you kind of have to give him a little more respect. Yeah, I mean that. You definitely have to respect Fox, and especially when you're trying to like weave in or like even pressure Fox's shield. Mm -hmm. It's almost better to use your movement to try and force, to like bait Fox to throw out an option. Yeah. And then punish it. You really don't want to be touching his shield because uh, honestly, the the shield pressure from Roy isn't that great. Right, and not only that because of Roy's lack of proper range, 
the one thing you want to be careful with is even though you do have a bit of a disjoint, it isn't that big. And you kind yeah. of have to respect the fact that in the combat, you really want to do more fadeaway aerials than approaching aerials. Like, you kind of want to drift back a little bit more. I actually feel like he should be crossing up more because, yeah, you can get up tilted mm -hmm. uh, at these, like, higher percents, but up tilt to up air isn't going to kill you. Yeah. Or you like, you're not going to get hit with up air right away. You have, you know, you get put into the, the coin flip situation, which, you know, which if you guess wrong, then, yeah, you're dead. But mm -hmm. at least at that point, you're not going to get hit with, like, the freest up smash. Very true. You know, hopefully, uh... Kai is going to be going for a little more cross-ups. Gets Ooh. the back end, though, and he puts him off the stage. I do like the fact that he's going for a blazer. You can two frame, and it's got a pretty uh, interesting hitbox in, in terms of size, because mm -hmm. it can actually hit you. On oh, definitely for sure. But just like that, another up smash from Justin. Man, he came back to the scene of the crime, oh. and he landed there. But unfortunately, Justin stayed around to confirm the death, and he actually got a death of his own. Yeah, revenge kill coming from Kaius. Now there's a jab. Okay, going into the nair. Mm-hmm. So if he does go for an air, I do want to see Kaius go for a full cross-up. So he's able to just go ahead and, all right, fine, I got the cross-up. Now let me try to pressure him out of shield. Or he's going to go for an out of shield option, which usually tends to be the more of the metagame now. Mm -hmm. And then you can punish him for it. I personally just go for grabs. Yeah. <laughs> I was grabs say are yeah. good. Grabs are really good. <laughs> oh, there's a back air. Come on, Kaius. <laughs> he had it, too. He did have it. But you know what, then He has these up airs, too. Yeah. Oh, very nice. unfortunate for Juicen. Kaius just drifts back just enough. To make uh make that down smash whiff. Yeah. He, oh. You know, unfortunately last game, Roy had the poor man's cross slash. This time Sakurai played a premium and then he told him, Alright, now you have a real man's cross slash. Cloud, you can go sit in the bench. Oh, rip cloud, man. I think he's still he can still be good. Just give him a small buff. I don't know, man. Oh, so, okay. Like Here we go. Oh, you okay. Alright, goes for Nair. I like the fact that he goes for back air. The one thing I don't really see Kaius go for when it comes yeah. to edge guard sometimes, especially when an edge guard star at Fox's uh, illusion is gonna be the side B or the sliding is gonna be the sliding um forward tilt. Because mm. you can catch him with that as well. Oh, oh. dropping shield at the incorrect time as Kaius is able to land a big F smash. Yep. Shouts to the man swag, dude. He's actually rocking the TSM jacket. You know, the I think it's called the I don't even know the name of the property. Letterman name. jacket. Letterman jacket, there you go. Shout out to man. Yeah, TSM has a fresh look. They really do. The black and white, like, comes out really clean. I also like Echo Box, the orange and the orange and gray and white. It's definitely different. Well, yeah. It's different for sure. I can barely rock orange, man. Okay, right. well, game three, Justin and Caius. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, like, what, what happened there? Oh. Sid Nanigans. Thanks, Sid. <laughs> Sid Nanigans, as I like to call him. <laughs> okay, here we go. A couple of up airs. Going to get a platform extension into a back air. Very good damage. Mm -hmm. Really good timing to see how the illusion was going to work there. One thing that Kaius was kind of accustomed to is fighting Fox in Smash 4 because he did train a lot with technicals, and mm -hmm. technicals actually used to be ranked in Vegas. Oh, no, that's right. He yeah. was. So he's kind of used to the Fox matchup a little bit, but it's a little bit changed down here in Smash Ultimate. And like I said, he has to be careful when he lands with an aerial because Fox will be able to punish that. You have M lag after forward air. Okay, using uh, stopping at the third, the third uh, double edge dance. Actually, a very tricky mix up because if uh, if he had in fact uh, dropped shield, if just had dropped shield and then got hit by the fourth one, he would have died just like that. I was gonna say just like that. Nice, falling up air, and then you looking to confirm on into the jab. Unfortunately, you missed the timing. Okay, forward another air. forward air, and oh. a big S smash, punishing the illusion. Straight up beating it out. Are we going to see a drop down back air? He does go for it, but just mistimes the spacing. Oh, you got to have your raw back air confirms from oh. jab. You got to have those unlocked. Yeah, he does. And good parry from Kaius because he knew I could go ahead and punish with that double edge dance. I would have loved to have seen the forest smash, but he merely just turns things around with a back air. This started off in Justin's favor, but now Kai's just totally changed it around to his side. I mean, both these players, or both these characters have, like, explosive damage. Yeah. Roy hits like a truck. and probably kill Fox at, like, 70 at the ledge. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, you can get a really early kill if you read your opponent's side B. Even not only side B, forward, um, Firefox as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, another back air landing for Justin. Oh, going for He was expecting a roll in. And there's the grab. Forward throw for the tech chase, and a back air lands. What's the punch going to be? Ooh, missing the illusion. Oh, good stall with the Firefox. Oh. Go recovering high. So smart from Houston. He sees us, like all the attacks that Kai's has been throwing at the ledge. He's like, I want to avoid all that. Oh, but mm -hmm. Firefox is just too close. 
All right. Uh, I like that setup going for the counter, and it probably would have killed Fox. Even if it would have had him the sour spot hit, but it still would have killed him the cinema stage. But fortunately, that was a lot of risk, no reward. And that back air will seal the deal. All right. Good stuff, Caius. You know, we see Roy the boy advancing in bracket. Yeah. Always a fan of the boy. As you know, we got the boy here yeah. at the kid, the mango. Z-Fly, swinging swingin swords, living a life. Roy out there.